Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ronnie George and I am a registered Indian patent agent. So the topic that we are going to discuss today is introduction to patent classification system. So what is a patent classification system? Let's first see the definition. So as per definition, a patent classification system is a system used to organize patent documents such as granted patents and published patent applications into specific technology groupings based on their technical feature. In simpler terms, a patent classification system is a system used to categorize patent documents based on the inventions or the field of inventions that it discloses. Okay. Uh, if I have to explain this with an example, then consider that a patent application related to a car will broadly fall into the category or the section of transportation systems. Similarly, another patent application or a patent disclosing an invention related to tube light may broadly fall in the category of lighting or lighting systems. So that is the example of a classification or a patent classification system. Okay. This can also be explained via another example of a library. So if you visit a library, you will see that the books arranged in the library are arranged in a very systematic manner. Okay. For example, the books related to uh, fiction category will be you know, arranged in a specific section which includes only the fiction books. Similarly, the books related to non-fiction category will be arranged separately and uh, the comic books will be arranged separately and the scientific books will be arranged again in a different uh, space in a library. So why is that done? Because you know uh, such an arrangement makes it easier to find the books. It similarly the patent documents there are millions of patent documents and it's very important to have a systematic classification to you know find these patent documents. Okay, so let's see the next point. So the next point is about importance of patent classification system. Now, you know, why is this patent classification system required? So first of all, a patent classification system provides a standardized framework to the millions of patent documents. So, you know, every day, I guess thousands of patent applications are being filed throughout the throughout the world. Right. So there is a standard structure a standard arrangement required so that you know these patent documents are easier to find and easier to arrange so this is again similar to the library example that i gave okay so imagine that you know the books in a library are arranged randomly then how difficult it would be for a person to find a book of his or her choice similarly you know the same thing happens in patent system also since there are millions and millions of patent documents are available online it will it would have been become very difficult to find the patent document of your choice and therefore you know this patent classification system brings an order or a standard test framework to the uh, patent documents that are available the second example is patent classification system facilitates the patent searching process by restricting search to a specific domains. So, you know, while conducting patent searches, since you have this classification system available, you can restrict your patent searches to specific domains. Like if I want to search for uh, motors of an EV vehicle, you know, then I can restrict my patent search using the classification codes of both motor as well as the vehicles. And accordingly, you know, my patent search will become easier because I will find applications or patent documents only restricted to EV or I mean vehicles as well as the motors. So that is how the patent classification system facilitates in the patent searching process. The next point is patent classification system helps in monitoring technology developments within specific domain. So in case I want to see you know uh, what is the trend of filing patents in a specific technology so that can also be done using classification codes so 
if let's say I want to see what are the patent applications being filed in artificial intelligence domain today. So I can, you know, instead of using the all the keywords, I can use the specific classification code related to artificial intelligence and then I can find the patents or the trends, trend of filing patents or the geographies where the patents are being filed that I can do with the help of the patent classification system. So that is how, you know, the patent classification system becomes an essential or a necessary feature in the entire patent system. So what is a patent classification code? Let's check out the definition. As per definition, a patent classification code refers to a specific alphanumeric symbol or code assigned to a patent document to categorize and classify it based on its subject matter technology. Now, if I have to define this in simpler terms, a patent classification code is like a name or a set of names when each name includes patents of a specific domain or field. Okay. Now, this is again very similar to the library example I gave. So, you know, in library, the names such as the, you know, uh, fiction books or the non-fiction books or the comics or the uh, scientific literatures. So, such names are similar like a code wherein, you know, if someone wants to uh, read a non-fiction book, they can go to the non-fiction section and then uh, search for that specific book. Similarly, if someone wants to read a comic, they can go to the comic section and read the comic book. So a patent classification code is similar like that. So, you know, every code has a set of patents of a specific field. So if one wants to find, let's say, a patent document related to uh, helmets. So, you know, there is a specific classification code defined for helmets and someone can, you know, just go to the helmet uh, classification code and read all the patents related to helmets. Okay. So what are the types of patent classification systems? Well, there are many kinds of patent classification systems available. There are also country specific patent classification systems like US patent classification. But majorly two types of patent classification systems are used in the uh, patent field. The first one is the International Patent Classification System, commonly known as IPC. And the second one is Cooperative Patent Classification, commonly known as CPC. So let's check each one of them in the next slides. Uh, international Patent Classification. So International Patent Classification commonly known as IPC, is managed by the World Intellectual Property Organization, a United Nations agency responsible for promoting intellectual property rights. Okay, so IPC is a type of a patent classification system commonly used throughout the world and it is managed by WIPO, which is a very renowned, you know, intellectual property organization and uh, is commonly handling the IP throughout the world. So they, they take care of the international patent classification system. And if you go through it, so you know, there is an entire hierarchy of classification systems in IPC. So that's, so there are eight sections, you know, you see the, the sections that you see, the alphabets you are seeing in the left from A to H, these are known as sections. And each alphabet or each section is denoting a specific field. So A denotes human necessities, B performing operations, transporting, C chemistry, metallurgy, and all these, you know, these are very broad categories. So if this can be further narrowed down into more, more, more specific uh, categories or subcategories of patents. Okay. Now let's check out the cooperative patent classification. So CPC is jointly managed by the European Patent Office and the United States Patent and Trademark Office. So earlier, uh, European Patent Office and the US Patent Office were having their separate patent classification systems. But now, you know, a more systematic and uniform patent classification systems has, have been developed, which is 
known as the CPC classification system. This is again, you know, a classification system which arranges the uh, patent applications and helps in the identifying or searching patent applications much more easily. So uh, again, this is similar to IPC. So there are nine sections in this. So you can see from A to H and then Y. And each of these section has a specific title or a specific broad category mentioned on the right side. So let's see the structure of classification code. So what I showed in the IPC and CPC slide were the just the sections and they were very broad category. But you know actually you can dig down further in those sections and then you know you can narrow it down specific to the uh, field. So let's let's just see how a specific patent classification code looks. Okay, so in a classification code, there are these five uh, uh, categories, I can say, or you know, it starts from the section and then further narrows it down. So the section is, as I said, you know, the, the alphabets that were uh, mentioned from A to H. So each of those alphabets are like ref referred to as sections. And then within sections, there are class. And then within class, there are subclass. And within subclass, there is group. And then within group, there is subgroup. So these are terminologies used to uh, bifurcate a specific classification code. Now let's see an example that will make this structure of classification code even more clear. Okay, so this is an example of an international patent classification code that is B60R1-04. So as I said, you know, the classification code starts with the section and section is the most broadest form of a category. So in this case, B is the section and that is specifies the performing operations or transporting. Okay, so any invention that is related to performing operations or transportation will fall under the B section. Okay, now let's further narrow it down. So B is narrowed down to B60. Now B60 is referred to as the class. So in transporting, the, the more specific category we require is vehicles. So vehicles in general, this is, these are, you know, these are definitions which are already provided by the uh, classification system. And that is how the patents are, you know, arranged in these classification codes. Now let's further narrow it down. So B60R. So once you click on B60 in the actual, you know, uh, hierarchy of the patent classification system, I'm not displaying it here, but you can find it online. So if you click, there are, you know, a further sequence or further uh, sub classes gets, you know, uh, starts from the class. So in this case, B60R is the subclass and that includes vehicles, vehicle fittings or vehicle parts not otherwise provided for. Okay, now that is referred to as subclass. Now further, let's again narrow it down. Then in that case, the group comes into uh, position, which is B60R1 slash double zero. And again, you know, this is further narrowing the vehicle subclass. And in this, you will found, find optical viewing arrangements, real-time viewing arrangements for drivers or passengers using optical image capturing systems, example, cameras or video system specifically adapted for use in or on vehicles okay so so you understand you understand uh, what it is trying to say so any invention you know related to optical viewing arrangements in vehicles will be found under this group and it will not be you know uh, find in any other group so if i want to find patent applications or patent documents related to optical viewing arrangements in vehicle I can directly choose this group B60R1-00 and I'll find all the patent documents that are filed or granted in, in with respect to this field. 
now let's further narrow it down to the subgroup so in subgroup it is mentioned b60r slash 104 and that is mounted inside vehicle so the optical viewing arrangements that we just discussed on the in the group part so these viewing arrangements are mounted inside the vehicle and that is what is denoted by b60r 1 slash 04 so that is the subgroup of the patent classification system there might be also another subgroup in which you know the, the optical viewing arrangements may be mounted outside the vehicle so that depends on you so if you are looking for invention or you know patent documents which are talking about these optical wing arrangements arranged inside or mounted inside the vehicles then this is the subsection or this is the subgroup that you needs to uh, select for finding the patent application or patent documents so this is just an example you know you can go online and in the uh, WIPO website you can find the IPC hierarchy and accordingly you can you can look for you know the classification code which you want so if you are looking for uh, patent applications related to a specific medical equipment then you know you can you will have to go to a different section a section related to medical uh, equipment and then further narrow it down to until you find the uh, most suitable uh, subgroup uh, of that patent application or that invention so that was it with respect to uh, this session okay i hope you know uh, this session has helped you in understanding the concept of patent classification system and uh, we'll will go into further detail at a uh, you know later in some other sessions related to patent classification systems so thank you we'll discuss and learn more about intellectual property rights and patents in the upcoming sessions. Thank you.